And again. And then again. Uh -huh. I, I know I posted yesterday. I hope we get to like wear all of the red and blue in our closets over the next few weeks. I'm up for that one. All right. And maybe short sleeves at some point. This weekend, there's the chance that that may happen. But today, you're going to be a little cool out there with lots of clouds. There's going to be very little sunshine. 41 degrees at noon, and 5 o'clock temperature gets up near 50. So it's a, a nice cool 50, which is right around normal for this time of year. By this evening, however, you'll want the umbrella because some showers are going to be spreading in. Southern counties will see it first anytime after 5, and then the Dayton area really anytime after 7 o'clock is when that rain will become most likely. East wind today, yeah, a little breezy at times, getting in between 8 and 12 miles per hour. It's 38 currently. We have a wind chill of 33. Visibility is great. It's right at 10 miles, so there's no fog to deal with for your drive to work. Over in Greenville, it's 36. It's 38 in Arcanum and Piqua this morning. You're starting off at 37. Urbana and Mechanicsburg right up there as well. Tremont City, 35 degrees. A wider view, we have high pressure to our north, and that's going to continue an easterly flow over the Miami Valley today. Down to the south, temperatures are actually in the 40s. Uh, so pretty uniform across the region today. We're going to be very close to normal. We get up near 50. Tomorrow, same story. A little change, although tomorrow, after starting with rain, we should get into some sunshine during the afternoon. So readings off to the west are going to be slightly warmer. And that warmer air will then shift into the Miami Valley over the weekend. And we could be pushing 60 by the time we get to Saturday. Our satellite radar loop, you can see a lot of active weather down to the south and off to the west. This is. Uh, our system, it's the northern edge of it. We've kind of uh, had that pattern where these systems move in from the southwest. We're usually on the northern edge of them, and this is like the third one that's going to be impacting us the same way. Most of today we'll just be dealing with clouds by the time we get to late afternoon. Again, that rain in the southern counties, and then it spreads north. Here's how Future Track times it out. A dry weather at 9 o'clock this morning, cloudy for your drive to work. Heading into the lunch hour, still nice and dry. And then here's 5 o'clock. We'll pause it. You can see that rain lifting into extreme southern Butler County, maybe southern Warren County. We'll continue on into 7 o'clock in the evening, and that rain is farther north. We've got Richmond, Eaton, Dayton, and Xenia in on some wet conditions here that will lift northward through the overnight hours. So 11 o'clock, most of the Miami Valley is seeing rain. There could be a little mixing across the far north where we see some snowflakes, but little snow accumulations expected. And then even tomorrow morning, we'll still have some showers for your drive to work at 7 a.m., but then this will move out of here beyond that. So drier conditions for your lunch hour. Clouds still around then, but they should break up during your Friday afternoon. Today's high near 50, a mostly cloudy day. Slight chance of a shower across the south late. A better chance this evening and tonight. It's going to be a chilly rain. We drop down to 37 degrees, and rain will continue tomorrow morning, but the clouds break in the afternoon as we become partly sunny. We'll hit a high again near 50, near normal, and then the warm-up happens Saturday. Your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, we are up near 60 degrees with partly sunny skies. It's going to be a little breezy with the front coming through. It comes through dry, though, and it does bring in some chilly weather for Sunday and Monday. Highs will only be in the mid-40s, and lows get back down into the 20s.